Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 best hacks to get the best deals over at Bath and Body Works. I know a lot of you love to shop there. I love that store as well. And I love when they have big sales. As many of you know, twice a year they have the semi-annual sale and it's going to be taking place really soon um, for the end of December and then part of January. So I wanted to make this video just to get maximum savings for you guys and to talk about the best ways that I can actually save money over there. So I've compiled this 10 list and I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first hack, number one, is to sign up for their mailing list. You can either do this online, just go to bathandbodyworks.com and you will be in business, or at the store, they're usually asking at checkout, hey, can we have your email? Hey, can we have your mailing address? Provide both. Um, unless you're some hermit who doesn't allow that sort of information out, provide it for them so you can start receiving both um, coupons through email and then coupons mailed to your house. So here is an example of a coupon sent to my house. Uh, this is for the upcoming... Um, sale from December the 26th to January the 20th. This is for their semi-annual winter sale and this is a 10 off of 40. So I can use it um, any of the days uh, between the 26th to the 20th um, to get that extra savings which is really fantastic. And this is the last way to get a Bath and Body Works coupon is physically when you're in the store buying something. Um, usually um, to try to get you in the store again they will provide you with a really great coupon like this one's a free gift when you spend ten dollars and this was given to me at the beginning of december um but i can use it at the end of december so see how that works they're trying to get you back in the store so those are the three avenues to get coupons email mailers at your home or actual physical coupons in the store now the second hack, this is a really great one to um, keep in your back pocket. Those great coupons that I just showed you, they're good three days pre and three days post. Meaning, um, for example, that coupon for the free gift. Now, I still have them with me and I have spent my Christmas budget. However, I can buy a bunch of stuff with the semi-annual sale, present that coupon um, right on the 26th or 27th. And those are, you know, two days post. Um, I can't go in there on Christmas Day because they're closed, but I could still use that coupon. So just throw that in your back pocket that sometimes you're really eager to just throw those coupons out when you see an expiry date. They're good three days before and three days after. Now with any sort of um, big sale, um, one thing I will recommend is say you don't have um, an email or mailer coupon, you have nothing. If you're still planning on buying, you know, $40 of merchandise, because we know there's a 10 off of 40 coupon, what you can do is pull aside one of the employees, and usually they are very, very friendly. They'll come up to you and say, hey, how are you? Blah, 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 you know, have a small chit chat. And they try, it tries, they really try to make a very welcoming environment. What you can do is very quietly ask one of the employees and say, hey, I want to buy $40, but I've misplaced my 10 off a of 40 coupon. Would you have an extra one? And typically the barcode on the coupon is the same so they can scan mine and then you can use the exact same one. Um, sometimes they do that or they might have extras. So um, ask and you shall receive. Not every store does this, but if you have like a smaller store and they're very friendly and they really want your business, uh, this is an avenue to take and be super, super nice. The nicer you are, I think it is the harder for them to say, well, no. So um, sometimes um, a lot of people have had success with it. I've even had success with it because I have misplaced a coupon here or there. And uh, this is just a really nice thing when they offer up, you know, that extra $10 off. Now, anytime there's a really big sale over at Bath and Body Works, the day before you'll get an email around eight o'clock at night saying, hey, you know, our big semi-annual sales happening. Hey, big candle days happening. Information is out there. And just note that say your store opens at like, 10 o'clock, their doors will actually open at 9 a.m., even if it's in a mall, um, because they want customers, because they know people will be there extra early to get in on the deals. So that's an option for you to show up a little bit early. Um, you can always call ahead or ask. And what I would recommend is if you're looking for something very, very specific in the store, go the day before and try and scout where the um, candles or lotions or whatever you're looking for take some photos make a list because sometimes when these stores get really full of people if you're anything like me you can get kind of exasperated and you'll just grab whatever um so just you know sometimes it's good to, to show up a day ahead say hi to the employees be super friendly and see where the uh, location is for the merchandise that you wish to purchase
Now, if you might have received this for Christmas, a lotion from 2001, Bath and Body Works is a really fantastic store where they have the most flexible and very generous return policy. So um, you are able to return this. Um, say it is not your scent. It gives you a headache. You don't like it. Or somebody just gifted this to you and you don't really care for it. Or if you're breaking out in a rash or whatever the excuse might be or you just don't like it, um, you just bring it back to the store and they will, um, you know, let you return it. Uh, there is no receipt needed and that is very, very, like it's awesome customer service that way that if you have something that you really don't like, you know, you have that option to return it. And even if you went into the store and purchased a lot of stuff, say on candle day and there's a couple candles you bought, like, you know, four of one that you really don't like. You still have the option to bring those back as well um, and return it for something that you do like. Sometimes when these stores get so filled with people, you know, you just do impulse buying or impulse grabbing and I have been known to do that. Now with the candles, um, this is another really interesting thing to throw into your um, back pocket. Say you buy um, a candle and you burn it and the first day you're like oh, this is the greatest candle and then the next day you light it up to burn it again and the candle like there is no scent it just uh, like it's not throwing a scent you're like hey what is this you have the option even if you've burnt the candle to bring it back to the store and get a return and um, get a different candle and they offer that which is really really nice um so you know if you have purchased something and you were like really disappointed or if it just doesn't smell like the way you remember you have the option to swap it out and that is a really really great policy that they have now let's talk about in-store coupons again now when I saw this one on candle day and they threw it in my bag my eyes lit up like a Christmas tree and I actually said hey I want to gift a couple of these candles and I'd like to give a couple of those coupons could I have a couple extras and I just said hey my friend is really serious about Bath and Body Works and I'd love to give her a couple with her gift and they just um, gave me like three or four right off the bat and that's really nice when they do that. So if you're a really nice customer and you ask for extra coupons, they'll usually accommodate you. With that, if you need extra bags, extra bows, extra tags, they'll usually provide that for you as well. So you can really dress something up on the cheap like a gift and it looks like really classy. So be super, super nice to the employees. Um, <laughs> this is probably the most important of my list of um, hacks. And number nine, we're gonna talk about gift cards. Um, now, here's something interesting. I have not physically opened up my wallet to pay for anything at Bath & Body Works probably for the last two years. And you might be wondering like, hey, what does that even mean? Like, how, how are you getting all this stuff for like nothing? Well, easy, with gift cards. And um, I use Ibotta, which is a really fantastic shopping app. Just go to the App Store and download this. If you're interested in signing up for Ibotta, you'll get a $10 bonus when you submit your first qualifying receipt. And my sign up link is in the notes and you'll get that bonus when you submit your first qualifying receipt, which is fantastic. And Ibotta is a fantastic app because they offer um, gift cards. They both have the $20 tier and the $50 tier. And um, I have used that many, many times because I love to get my Bath & Body Works stuff on, you know, when they have the different sales and pairing it with a $50 gift card, I'm walking out with half the store with coupons. So it's just a way that I'm paying very, very little out of pocket with these Ibotta gift cards and it's just like smart. So if you are interested in signing up um, with my team, uh, the link for that is at the top of the notes field. Check it out. You will not be disappointed and Ibotta is a super easy app to use. I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorites. And my final pearl of wisdom is to go big. And a lot of you might be wondering, like, what does that mean? Um, it means this. If you have a coupon for a free item, if it's a coupon that says buy one, get an item for free, the max value is like $16.50. And we saw something like that, like, I think in like November or October. Don't buy just a little hand sanitizer and call it good. Like get two little hand sanitizers and get that hand sanitizer for free. Find an item in the store that's right at like $16, $15, $14. Go big. Get yourself something really nice. Don't go for the cheapest little hand soap. Don't go for the cheapest little thing. This is how you can amass a lot of um, collector stuff, really nice bath and body work stuff, like great stuff that might be a little bit more expensive that you can gift maybe next Christmas or you can gift whenever or you could just keep it for your house. Um, but the mistake that I have always made whenever I got like a free item coupon, like spend $10, get a free item, I would just get like $1 um, hand sanitizer. And you know, that's just not the way to go. Go big, 
look at what they have. You know, there's tons of these gorgeous pedestals, even this gorgeous wreath. These are a lot of um, Christmas themed things, but any time of the year, they have some sort of candle accent that's, you know, $15 plus. And if you have a more, um, you know, valuable coupon like that, go big and buy something really, really nice. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you might have a couple of hacks to share, I would love to read them in the comments. I'll see you in my next video.